What's up, weirdo? Shea Tree Surgeon here, out at Kroom with Dylan, with Erica, with Sean, who is off finding a bathroom somewhere, and... I wanted to do the intro. With Flip. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Give me your best... What's up, weirdo? Shea Tree Surgeon here, and we're out at Kroom going to ride dirt bikes. No, no, not a fucking chance. First off, I don't that say better. I don't say sup. My name's not fucking Kyle. Okay. <laughs> All right, out here for day two of Sean and Erica's learn how to ride a bike. Although Sean didn't do any of that last time because the CRF <laughs> ceased working, so he actually didn't even get a chance to ride it last time. But luckily, Erica fixed it. And if you missed that video, I'll have a link to Erica fixing the bike that she's learning how to ride on in the description down below. I thought that was so cool. That hey, if you're gonna learn how to ride a motorcycle you should learn how to work on a motorcycle what's a choke he says <laughs> i got you it's hard to find dude i'll help you all right now just kick it once without giving it any gas it should fire right up i know this is like basic entry level shit but just remember if anything starts to happen that you're uncomfortable with pull in the clutch like if you start to get whiskey throttle you start anything you go like i don't like this Pulling the clutch, everything stops. So this is Flip's first time riding a two-stroke and he's used to riding a Harley Davidson a Sportster. So there might be just a little more torque on a Sporty than the KX100. Oh. <laughs> You're not gonna get like second or third gear is the highest you'll get. You wanna get the revs up a little bit to have any power. Otherwise it'll stall. That's normal. Everywhere. Oh, moving everywhere. Weird. That's, that's how it is, that's how she be. No, I know. It's just yeah. It's just an interesting thing to get used to. Yeah. But take it out again. Try to keep your revs up a little bit because if just just try to keep them up a little bit. That's where the power is. But just be careful because it comes on yeah. real quick. Yeah, that's what will happen when you first start out. That's like, don't worry about it. Okay. You'll get used to it. How you feeling, man? That's weird as hell. It's weird, right? Yeah. But basically, I don't want to give you too much information because, again, that's too much. But it's like... The bike's gonna move, let it. Yeah. Yeah, just let it move, you know, and don't worry about it. Like, trying to control it is what'll fuck you up. Go. I said keep the revs up. I think he's taking it from 2,000 to 3,000 RPM. Nice pants, nerd. This is actual off road riding. Not like bad, but I mean, Riding in sand is not the easiest thing in the world. I know. He looks a million times better just in one circle. Yeah, yeah, he does. I know plenty of dudes who've been riding off road for years and have never ridden in sugar sand. And then they get in sugar sand, and all of a sudden it's like they, they're like a newborn baby giraffe. They just sort of <laughs> doing it all over again. So it's, it looks easy. It looks flat. It looks like it wouldn't be hard. But trust me, there is a learning curve. Go flip! All right. Pride goeth before so the fall. His, his second lap was five times faster than his first. Yeah. So he just keeps going like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just go in a left-hand circle. Like get yourself used to like going through the trees and maneuvering around and turning the bars. I just don't want you to get too used to doing one thing. And it's okay to crash out here. Like when we're doing this, like don't feel upset about crashing. I will crash today. You guys don't know any better, but this is like not the ideal motorcycle for deep sand. Okay. <laughs> Good. I you kind of assume. But you never been on anything else, so what? Like it's all right. Yeah. You yeah, have nothing to compare it to. It's all about relativity. Oh. Whoa! 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 Fucking Ricky Carmichael whoa. over here. Hired? I haven't used any of these muscles in forever. <laughs> you have muscles? Exactly. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I just realized I forgot to release today's video. So let's go ahead and do that. Ah, look at Sean go, man. Just riding it down the street like everything's normal right now. We really need to come out here and do a camp out. Maybe do like a 
like a meetup out here or something like that with a bunch of people and hang out in the woods. That would be pretty cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is deep. This is what I was worried about that being. This is way harder. Yeah, yeah a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, God, I have missed being out of crew. I haven't been out here in freaking forever, man. All right, Erica, you ready or did you already go? Your time is now. Let's give you some film. Um, so just a couple things to be careful of. Um, you remember all the stuff from last time. Is there anything you don't remember, please tell me. You got to be careful when you get over here. There's uh, not only deep sand, but there's a couple like big ruts. Okay. And you can ride through them, but you just, they can come up on you. And if you go at them at an angle, you can fall over. Okay. So just when you get up to this area, be careful. And you see there's ruts right there. So you just got to be aware of your surroundings a little bit. And if you look at something, you're like, I don't feel like I can go around it. Just stop. Do you, you want to turn it around first? Are you uncomfortable with going through this? Uh, back right, back up if you want. You can back up on the bike and point yourself in a direction that you're more comfortable starting in. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. And if you're not comfortable and you feel like nobody is paying attention to your uncomfortability, <laughs> vocalize it. go to sleep thank you so yeah first thing I did was immediately forget the clutch thing they were just telling me and of course whew, learn by doing though right thankfully it's a little enough bike I can probably back my ass out of here hi I did the one thing that you guys immediately like the first thing you told me not to do Ah, that's what I'm stuck on. There. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, cool. I got through the ruts. I'm doing okay. And then I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then immediately forgot to pull in the clutch. All right, you ready? You can follow me if you want. I will lead you down a path that is not dangerous. Just doing some real off-road now. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, that time I pulled in the clutch. Come on, off you go, baby. Off you go. We're almost out of this stuff, don't worry. Are you frustrated yet? No, I know what I'm Okay. Do. This time, I was going too fast, but I was going up a curve, so I freaked out my clutch, which meant I stopped. There you go. Good. All right. Cover the clutch. Pay fucking attention. Look ahead. Let's see if she can get down there without fixating on that rut and right in into it. Good job. Oh, the clutch. Up, oh, down. That's my fault, though. That's okay. Uh, yeah, that sugar sand is a bitch. No matter who you are. This shit's scary, but it's working. <sighs> yeah. Hell yeah! Right through it, that's not easy. It looks easy on camera, it'll even look easy on her camera, but I promise you, not as easy as it looks.
Flip's expensive drone is in the tree. Looks like Flip has uh, devised a strategy. You think if uh, we need to throw something of equal value at it, like if I th if we throw my camera, my my nice camera at it, maybe it'll fall out. Can it? Ooh, there it is. All right, it's Flip's turn. We're gonna we're gonna take it easy on him at first. We're not, I don't want to put him through anything that's gonna make him uncomfortable. Although if he takes a spider to the face. That would be pretty fucking amazing. This is apparently Josh the teacher. So, whoa, I'm gonna show you a big ass fucking spider. <laughs> God damn, dude, how'd I miss that the first time? It is spider season out here, by the way. Let me get that guy out of the way. And you, okay, so you don't wanna go there because there's a branch in the way. You wanna go here. So, you're gonna full lock the bars and then lean the bike over. Okay, and then you're gonna. You're not gonna go forward. You wanna try to spin the rear wheel and just push it up that way. Yeah, just pull the clutch in. It's all good, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, he took the spider with him. Trust me, the temptation is there to like, just take Flip into some really, really hairy situation because he's filming right now too and it would be pretty funny, but I want him to come away from today having enjoyed dirt bikes, not having a terrible time. I'll wait to get him in a really bad situation until he's got a little more experience under his belt. So over farther, almost to where you're dropping it. Cause you know, I'm only going around. So I'm gonna be, I'm going from here to up. You gotta push it with the inside of your leg over. I mean, is it making sense, sort of? So, if you're here, what you want is the front of the bike to be over there. Yeah. So look over there. Yeah. You gotta lean it over further. There you go, there you go. You're getting it. I'm gonna be like, man, I wish I didn't do that. Hey, oh, look at that. See if they pump up. Well, Flip saved the day. I'm sorry, Dylan saved the day. And I definitely didn't want Flip to be going out with no front brakes just because, you know, just learning how to ride a dirt bike. Don't need to be learning how to ride a dirt bike that you can't stop properly. Dude, how we lose him already? Oh my God, where'd he go? Holy crap, Flip. Oh, hey, way back here. Okay. You all right? Yeah. What happened? Little shaken up, but yeah. What happened? All right. Take two of trying not to fall over and ride like a jackass. This is a little more comfortable. Trusting it a little more. That was a butterfly. You can still hear that I'm throttling pretty terribly. I think that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to do everything with the throttle and not using the clutch at all. Looking ahead. Looking where I want to go. So I'm going to slow down. So clutch a little. And clutch out a little. Alright. I can kind of figure out how to not be an ass on the bike. That was probably a bad decision. There we go. Turning, turning, turning. Yeah, I almost fell over. Yeah, there we go. Okay, keep my wrist down. Keeping my wrist down is one of the things that they said. All right, so now we're gonna do this. Look where I wanna go. Stop fucking fighting the bike. It wants to do a thing, let it do a thing. Trust the bike to stay up because that's what physics says it will do. Apparently talking to myself like a two-year-old is the way to do it. 